Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. First things first, I'd like to wish Bob from Steam Fight Aquatics a congratulations. 25,000 subscribers, Bob. I am really, really happy for you and not jealous one bit, not even a little. All right, fishy folks, today in Michael's Fish Room, uh, just a quick announcement, michaelsfishroom.com won't be shipping uh, next week except for Monday and Tuesday. So if you want an order, uh, if you want to order some fish, go ahead and do it now, www.michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, I'll get those fish out to you on Monday next week and you'll have them Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, if not, it's going to wait a week because I'll be going camping uh, next week. So no shipping because I won't be here. Today in Michael's Fish Room, we are going to feed. It's Fry Fry Friday. I got to give you some fry updates because there's a lot of them. And we're going to feed a new rapashi flavor. This is uh, grubs and fruit. Grub and fruit? Fruit and grub? Whatever. Uh, and it smells a little bit like bananas, which I'm not a fan of. But uh, it might even be like a lizard formula, but who really cares? Fish are fish and they eat whatever you put in the tank. Well, not whatever, but they do eat a lot of stuff. So, uh, as you can see, I made them a little smaller this time, so I can put the the, the half filled ones in tanks with with uh, little fish. You know, I don't have to break them up. Although there are a couple of bigger ones there, I'll probably break up and just put in tanks with little ones. Also, we have some canned green beans for the plecos, because plecos love canned green beans. It's cheap, all natural, healthy, they love it. Boom, that's what we're gonna feed. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Why don't you uh, go grab some popcorn, perhaps some chips and a beverage, and uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, hope you got a good snack. Uh, I'm gonna feed some fishies, probably make it fast motion for you, because it might be a little boring. I might stop and you know yell at the camera so you know something, but um, one of the questions I have asked before is when you have plecos in a tank and guppies in a tank, what do you feed first? For the most part, it doesn't matter because uh, they eat, the plecos will only eat kind of what's on the bottom. They're not going to come up to the top and eat a flake. Um, I also typically like to feed the plecos uh, just before the lights go off. That ensures they're going to get the food because there are a patch I want to put in there for the plecos, guppies will probably nibble at. So usually once the lights go off, the plecos go and bully the guppies away. So uh, my lights will go off in a couple hours. So it doesn't really matter in my fish room, the order I feed, but in your house, if you only have one tank or just a couple tanks and your lights aren't on a timer, blah, 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 try to feed the plecos just before the lights go off because they'll come out more because they're nocturnal. Nocturnal meaning at night. All right, fishy folks, here we go with feeding. Well, this rapashi I made is a little wet. It's not in cube form. I think I added too much water because it's been in the fridge for a whole day. So we're gonna um, use this fancy spoon and feed. Stand by. Oh. Oh. You gotta see what this looks like. Oh. All right, fishy folks, that was the rapashi, which I added too much water and it never solidified. It's like jello, so if you add too much water, it just becomes liquid. And to be honest, I spilled some on a glass here and it looks disgusting. I'll show you in a second, but we're gonna feed some green beans now to the plecos. Green beans, I mean, guppies will also eat green beans. If you have angels, they'll eat the green beans. At least mine do. Um, quarries, bottom, shrimp, fried shrimp, garlic shrimp, stand by. All right, fishy folks. Now I gotta feed the fry. Um, I mean, the fry will nibble on the rapashi, but I'm overfeeding some fry tanks to get them to grow nice and fast and fat so I can put them up on the website. Um, there will be a new fish on the website, hopefully this weekend, if I can get a good picture of one so I can get a good thumbnail for you. And uh, you'll have to uh, check out the website and see what it is. Stand by, I'm gonna go feed uh, guppy fry. So you've, I've made videos about how to feed fry, but I have fry starter, which is almost a powder. And then I have my little uh, 
pepper mill with the special super secret North Finn soldier fly larvae crisps uh, that actually needs to be refilled. You can put anything in here. If you buy, let's say you have big fish and you buy um, krill from North Finn over at least in super cichlids. And you know, they come in like one millimeter, which is too big for fry. You put them in here, grind them up, boom, fry food. But I'm gonna go with the uh, the Northfin Fry Starter today. Also bought Lisa at Super Cichlids. How many times have I said that today? 15? Is that enough? No, I don't think so. Stand by for guppy feeding. All right, fishy folks. That's it for feeding today. I'm gonna hand hold the camera now and uh, give you a quick update and show you the mess I made. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. Hope these, these colors show up on uh, on the video, but this delicious looking guppy was sent to me from Doug Seaver. I bought some baby plecos from Doug and he threw in this line of uh, guppies he's been working on. He's a guppy breeder as well out in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Anyway, they are spectacular and uh, they really acclimated well to their new home. If you remember when I did my unboxing video, uh, the male was pretty elusive and colorless and hiding now he's out and about checking out the females looking for some uh some food and if he could focus there we go blue sheen to the body a gorgeous tail just a spectacular looking fish looking forward to seeing what the fry look like now fishy folks i don't know what you think this is right here this uh brown stuff it's not what you think it is it's for pashi. i made it too watery I screwed up the recipe, I suck, I'm sorry. Like I always say, I'm just a dumb guy with a camera, can't even make repasha right. It's pretty simple. Uh, two or three parts to one. That means uh, two parts powder, three parts liquid, or vice versa. See, maybe I did screw up, I don't know. I'll have to check the directions. Anyway, I'm gonna clean that up when we're done. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Thought it was pretty funny. Uh, what other tanks do we have frying? We have fry in the red, white, and blue uh, American guppy tank. You can see they're growing nicely, overfeeding. Um, I did get a question about overfeeding. Actually, there's a bunch of food. You see it right there stuck in this here. So we'll just do that. Let that go down to the bottom. Um, I do overfeed a lot of my fry tanks, but I also do 10% daily water changes and I have a ton of plants to suck up nitrates. So. If you just have a regular community tank that you do, you know, weekly water changes or water changes when you get to it or whatever, uh, mutt guppy tank. Tanks are a little cloudy because the rapashi um, that I put in, let me show you over here. No, <laughs> I thought that was a rapashi. Nope, those are plecos. So there's the rapashi right there. Sorry, I scared a pleco. Um, it kind of solidified when it got into the water, but a lot of it was liquidy and clouded the water so that's why the tanks are a little cloudy right now back to overfeeding um if you have a community tank or one tank where you just do regular water changes and you overfeed that could disturb your cycle i'm not really worried in my tanks because even if my cycles cycle is disturbed a little uh it's going to get a water change again in 24 hours so that's why i overfeed all right let's look at some more fry uh here are the the magenta cobra mosaics yeah i don't really know what to call them they're kind of mutts but they kind of breed true mutts if you know what i mean they all kind of come out looking a little bit like that or like that with the magenta on them those these are the males from the tank uh in this tank there might be one male left of the oh yeah there was one male i just pointed to him but uh you can see the amount of fry in there they'll all eat that that rapashi dirt that's on the bottom Oh, sounds like my sump pump had a problem. Um, what else do we have fry? We have fry in all these guppy tanks down here. Um, these are just cobra guppies, and there's another second tank of cobra guppies, and there's fry in here. And then, of course, if we scoop down here. Oh, here's another male guppy tank I started. These are black Moscow guppies, perhaps going on the website, perhaps going on sale this weekend. Uh, and cobra guppies. And I think there is something else in here. I thought there was more than one. Oh yeah, the jade head guppies, jade head, jade head cobra guppies, which are the ones with the dark body, and those light ones are the red cobras from the tanks uh, to the right that we just saw. 
black Moscow guppies. Look at how spectacular they look, folks. Born and raised in my fish room. This tank has the ghost fish in it. No, just, just a tank I'm getting ready. Perhaps I'm getting new fish in today. We'll see. Perhaps an unboxing next week. Uh, here is the black panda guppy tank. And you can see there's different sizes of fry and juveniles. Somebody asked me in a question, at what age do I consider them not fry anymore? It's not so much age as it is sex, as, as it is sex. <laughs> wow, what am I thinking? It's not so much age as it is size. Um, and size depends on what and how much you feed, the temperature of the tank, how many water changes you do, all that. But I, I kind of, and these guppies are a little smaller than some of my other ones, but I kind of figure, ew, that's gross. I kind of figure that um, pretty much at about half an inch for most guppies, they're not juvenile, they're juveniles and they're not fry anymore. Uh, you know, some of them could be maybe a quarter inch. Like these guys are small, they only max out at about an inch. So about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch perhaps. Uh, and I don't consider them fry anymore. So yeah. All right, let's turn around. We'll do the old scooch on the on the stool. There's a green cobra. A green cobra. Wow. Green dragon pleco just chilling next to the Apache dirt. And there's another green cobra. Wow, I did it twice. There's another green dragon pleco eating a green bean, and two more chilling on the glass. To be honest, I only thought I had three, so pretty happy that they've multiplied. Uh, you can see there's some glass belly guppy fry in here. Finally, they've survived. Um, they're getting big. This is another tank over feed. There's actually two drops. You can see a really tiny one in the front, and then the bigger uh, fry big brother in the back. And uh, this girl, the triple, oh, sorry, the purple mosaic Dumbleware sulfur head guppy, still no fry out of this one or uh, the one I put in the other tank behind me. So it's a little disturbing. All right, Fry Fry Friday continues with Pleco Fry, not mine. These are the ones I bought from Doug. They look spectacular. These are the albinos. And in this tank are also Red Dragon Guppy Fry. Can't wait to put these guys on the website. They're not Dumbo Ears. Um, I may or may not be getting Dumbo Ears today. I guess you'll have to wait and see. But uh, they're Red Dragons, so they have the red uh, fancy tail, and they have black dorsal fins that make them look bigger but they're not, but they look great. All right, fishy folks. Uh, Han and Leia's tank looks like a disaster. That's because I, I use this tank to clean out the Rapashi container because I know they'll eat it and uh, Jabba the Pleco will eat it as well. Uh, Luke's been down here moving around my Pleco plush, but there's the Pleco. There's a good, good, you can see how big that Pleco is, right? Next to my hand, so. Uh, no fry in Chunky's tank because if those platies drop fry, uh, they become a delicious treat. But look how photogenic she is. Hi, Goldie. All right. Uh, where else is there fry for you to look at? I mean, there's fry everywhere in my fish room, so I, I think that's it. Maybe we should do a quick update of the outside tubs. What do you think? All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks out here in my backyard with the tubs. Here's the, we'll call it a 40 gallon mutt guppy tub. Uh, I did a video on it last. I'll try to link it somewhere, maybe in this general area. Uh, no fry yet, at least I don't think so. I saw some juveniles um, and I think I must have just netted them. Like see there, there's a whole bunch of little ones. Pretty sure those aren't fry. I mean, it could be. I mean, that could be a fry from, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. We do have fry in this tank. You can see lots and lots of fry over here. Somebody asked me about the uh, oak leaf. Do I do it on purpose to change water parameters? No. You should know me by now. I don't really do anything with water parameters. Just fell from the oak tree. That's right there. Right in there. Uh, doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't 
really care that much to take it out. I mean, like there's a beetle right here. This one I'll probably take out just because it's creeping me out. Now it's on my finger. Uh, but yeah, I don't really... These ponds are pretty much maintenance free. Uh, the water level you can see is a little low. Here are the drain holes right there. I still have to drill holes in my tub, which I'll do this weekend. My molly tub. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't do anything out here. I, I did feed this morning. As you can see, there's food floating on the top. Um, only because I want those fry to grow kind of fast. I want the parents to be full so they're not chewing on the fry. Because they are tender and delicious, as we've talked about. All right. The tub next door are some leaves here. Don't really care. What is this? A, a leaf and a little nut. No fry in this tub yet. Um, little surprise. Thought there'd be fry by now in here. Uh, I think I have three females and two males. So I'll, I may be pulling a male out of here just to let the female uh, females have a little bit more privacy. Males tend to harass the females, especially if they're about ready to drop because the males can smell the tasty, delicious fry. I don't know. I just made that up. But uh, more female, a higher female to male ratio you'll have a better uh, chance of more fry. I know that's not really proper grammar, but leave me alone, I haven't had coffee yet. Um, because the male won't harass the females, the individual female as much. The harassment will be spread out, if you will. All right, now that I explained that completely easily. Uh, cobra guppy tank, cobra guppies, yeah. There's fry in here, growing nicely, growing fast. There's a little duckweed. Um, I don't mind duckweed. I'll just drop it in Goldie's tank and her and her pals will eat it um, Some of these plants tend to sink and Rot so you kind of got to be careful with that that could affect water chemistry negatively um, I personally don't care, but you know some people's fish aren't as hardy. I guess I don't know I've been getting a lot of you know, how do you set up your guppy tub and it's pretty simple I fill it up with water the next day I come out and I put fish in it and that's all I do look there's an airline because I was going to aerate all summer but no air the air pump took a crap and I haven't fixed it so you know there's a lot of guppies in there all right here we have the grass guppy tub and I'm a little disturbed we'll say because um I did see them this morning when I came out and fed but I didn't see all of them so I don't know what's going on uh, I'd hate to lose grass guppies because they're so awesome looking, but I don't see any right now. I gotta do some investigating. Oh, there they are. They're just hiding. I'm an idiot. They probably were just getting ready to drop fry and I've disturbed them. You dummy. I told you dummy with a camera. All right, fishy folks. That's it for the guppy tub update from outside. And uh, hope you enjoyed this Fry Fry Friday video. And I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm going to go get dressed and go to work. Congratulations, Bob, on uh, 25,000 subscribers. Check out Steamfight Aquatics. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your fantastic guppy needs. Hope everyone has a great Fry Fry Friday. fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you hope everyone has some good fishy plans this weekend if you do let me know what you're going to do in the comments below i'm going camping this weekend and uh, probably won't be here in the fish room much got to prepare the rv and stuff but quick one day trip kind of a local thing at a uh, an amusement park anyway i digress let's move on that was a stupid opening <clears throat> <laughs> Start filming and the washing machine starts to drain. <laughs> Alright, fishy folks. I'm not sure what you think that is, but it's rapashi food that was too liquidy and fell out of the little mold I had. So, yeah, looks gross. Anyway, fishy update. Here are the fish I got from... Yeah, 